to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Shein haul try on review. Um, so I've seen lots of stuff about Shein and I feel like it's one of the more popular ones that people try out. Um, and I've actually seen sponsored videos from Shein where people will get sent stuff um, from them. And so I wanted to see for myself what it is really like. Um, so I ordered this stuff on February 3rd and it is February 17th and it is now all gotten here. Um, this small package with one item came pretty quick. This came like a week, a week ago um, and this big item with all the other stuff came yesterday. So let's dig in. Um, I paid, let's see, $65 for all of this but to repurchase it now it would all be $73 so some of the stuff has changed in price. Um, just from sales and who knows what. Um, so I tried to get a good variety of things to try on um, to see what the quality was of different items. Okay, so in the small bag was this blue striped dress. And um, one thing I did look at was the sizing on all of these because I've heard they have good sizing. And so I would often look and see what size the model was wearing um, as kind of a guideline. Okay, so here is this blue dress. So to buy this now would be $14. I think this might've been one of the ones I got cheaper. It was on sale at the time. This looks like it's gonna be, okay, you can't see on camera. This looks like it's gonna be super see-through, um, but we'll see when I try it on. So now for the big package. This packaging is really sketchy. Like this is literally just like masking tape, like clear tape over this package. <laughs> I was kind of scared when I first got it on my doorstep because I had no idea what it was. There's no identification on it at all. Like even the um, return address doesn't say anything about it being in or any of that. <laughs> So I got this swimsuit because I wanted to see how their swimsuits work because I know that's what a lot of people use these websites to buy. Um, and I've really been liking this kind of polka dot Dalmatian, okay well this is untied, but this polka dot Dalmatian print recently. So this is $12 but it's saying it's sold out now. Um, I'll link all this down below that I can and you never know what they're going to restock or what this will have. Um, Okay, I got these pajamas. These were $9 for the set. And this was one of the ones where the model said that she was wearing a size large and she's like itty bitty. And so I got a size extra large because that scared me. So we'll see. I don't know, these look like, um, kind of like nurse scrubs in a way. I don't know about those. I don't love that material. We'll try them on though. I love pajamas, so that's kind of disappointing. Okay, and there's this sweater. Oh, oh wow, it has tissue, nice. So this was $8. And it's kind of a cropped, hooded sweater gray on the front and then a darker gray on the back which I didn't realize but that's okay it's not very soft but we'll, we'll see okay and then I will say all of these bags are different like some of them have zip tops some of them don't um and then I got this oh that's tiny okay this is a size medium <laughs> and um this was eight dollars um that's going to be skin tight on me so we'll see about that just a red kind of ribbed mock neck shirt and then i got a hat so let's see how much was this one Six dollars, beautiful condition. I just love that. Okay, well, it popped out like kind of okay. 
but it's definitely very dented, so I don't know if it'll go back to shape or not. I kind of honestly expected that, and it was only $6. All of this stuff does have the appropriate tags on it though, so that's good. And then the last item, I got a pair of pants. Um, these were $16, and they're kind of like a sweatpant, tracksuit, jogger, wide leg, I don't know. These smell kind of weird. Um, we'll see. These were like one of the cheapest pairs of pants at $16, and I didn't want to get an expensive pair because I'm not really expecting any of this stuff to fit me or work. Um, that's the thing is a lot of stuff on their website I noticed was like not that cheap. Like it was like $30 for a shirt and I wasn't about to pay $30 for a shirt that I didn't know what it was going to be like because I wouldn't really do that normally. Um, so I tried to get all kind of like cheaper stuff anyway. That way if it didn't work out I wouldn't be mad about it. Um, so I'm going to try all of this on and we're just going to see. Right now it's honestly what I was expecting to be fair. Like not the best quality but not super sketchy, like still wearable. So we're just gonna have a little, little fashion show now. Okay, so here is the first two items. So these pants are size medium and they um, they fit pretty good. Like normally I'd get smalls and just about all my clothes, but I sized up based on the size chart and just cause I was scared of it being too small rather than too big. Um, I honestly like these pants. The material is not high quality, but like it's not bad. But the white stripe is completely see-through on the side, so that's obnoxious, um, but to be expected. This sweatshirt hoodie thing, I wish it was better. Um, the material is kind of lays funky. Um, and then the back is oddly shorter than the front. Like if anything, it should be the reverse, but look, I mean, that's noticeable. It's not like super itchy or anything like that. It definitely would not keep you warm. But look, like you can see the outline of my tank top underneath this sweater and it's a sweater. So I don't know, this, the neck hole is also like kind of like choking me a little bit. Like it's on my neck. Um, whereas I'd like it to be, you know, like down here, like a normal hoodie. So this might be going to Salvation Army, to be honest. It's a cute design and like I like the colors in it but I'm not gonna wear this. <laughs> the pants I might keep though. I think I can make those work. But this I'll probably just donate honestly. Let's see how much it was. Yeah this was eight dollars so I'll probably just oh the drawstrings are real though. But you know we'll keep the $16 pants and returned. Or not return, donate. We're just gonna donate it to the Bajan Army, this uh, $8 sweater top. But for $16, like these pants should be better. Like $16 isn't that cheap. I don't know, on to the next things. Okay, so here are the pajamas. Um, this material feels like doll clothing or something. I don't even know what this is. It's not necessarily uncomfortable, but it's just, it's weird. Also smells kind of chemically and fake, which it definitely is, but these kind of just remind me of like scrubs or like what I would wear in a hospital or something. I don't know. Once again, I mean they're just pajamas, so, but these are like super thin and the fit is not great. Like I said, this is an extra large. Um, it's a good uh, two inches too short on my ankles. It's also really freaking high-waisted and completely see-through again. So, since they are pajamas, it's not like do or die, but I'll probably honestly be donating these as well because I have other pajamas that are just way better. And these aren't that cute at all. So these were $9. So yeah, I'll just donate these. Someone else can have them because I don't love them. Because none of this stuff is worth trying to return, honestly. So we're just gonna go on to the next item. Here is this tank top thing. Yeah, I guess it's a tank top. This was eight dollars. Um, it's not bad. It's like a weird length. Like it's not really cropped, but it's not really long. And like the armholes are 
kind of big. Like the design just isn't awesome, but it's definitely wearable. I don't know. I might keep this just to just to see. It's not bad. It's not great, but I'll probably keep this one. Thumbs up, you know. Nine dollars, not bad. Okay, this one is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm wearing like black spandex underneath it and you can definitely kind of see right there where it ends. But it's not horrible for how like white this material is. I think you could wear like some tan spandex or like just tan underwear and be fine. Um, this does have a huge awkward slit in the back, like giant. Um, so I don't know about that, but it's a good length. Like I'm almost 5'10", this is a size medium and it's not super short like I was expecting. It also has pockets, so we love a dress that has pockets. Who doesn't, honestly? And up here you can see like my tank top line a little bit. Um, but this dress was originally 17 and I got it for 14 on sale. Um, I think it's still on sale. So this one's not bad. I will keep this and I will probably wear it. Um, and then this hat. I got this hat because I want to become a hat person and I'm just not. Don't think that look good on me. It's kind of small on my head, honestly. It's not horrible, like it's just a felt hat. Um, I'll have to see if I can get it to be reshaped though, because it is just really just punched out of shape, which is what I was expecting from it. But let's see. This was only six dollars. A six dollar hat, so it's not that bad. This outfit I would say is definitely like the winner out of all of them. It's a pretty cute outfit. It's one I would wear out in public or something if I can get the hat to fix itself. Slash, if I decide I look good in hats, I don't know. I feel like I could if I uh, just know how to, to wear them. So now I'm going to try on a swimsuit, which we'll see about that. BRB. Listen, I was not about to try this swimsuit on for real on camera. So here I am in some spandex and a tank top. These bottoms are tiny, which I kind of expected. That is not my jam. The top isn't bad. I like the print for sure. Um, I did try it on like for real, like without the other garments on. The top, my biggest thing is that you tie this knot yourself and so it's not like the most secure. Um, but I like the style of the top. I'll definitely wear the top. It has little like padding in it. Um, so that's good. I'll probably wear the top with like some high-waisted black bottoms because I think that would be cute. Um, this swimsuit was $12, but it says that it's out of stock right now, so I don't know if they'll restock it or what. I do like this swimsuit. Um, just know though that there's like little material on this swimsuit, so if you care about that, keep that in mind. But for $12, like this is a good swimsuit, I would say. Um, I won't wear the bottoms like ever, but I will probably wear the top. So, um, let me put a different shirt on before I do my final thoughts. So, final thoughts. It's how I expected it to be. Um, if you want to order anything, I would say don't order anything. I would say above $10, but you know, if you really want to go for it, $20. Because it's probably not going to fit awesome or the material isn't going to be great. And even if like that dress um, that did fit, even if it is okay for like a few washes, like it's just not going to last long. And that's what I expected. Um, did I feel like I wasted my money? I mean, I spent $65, which isn't like a ton. Um, and out of it, I might wear the red top, the dress, maybe the hat if I can figure it out, the swimsuit, and maybe the pants. Um, so it's not a huge loss. I'll definitely be donating the like, crop sweater thing and the pajamas to Salvation Army. Um, if you wanna try it, go for it. Just know what you're getting into. It's still not awesome clothes. Um, and honestly, like you can find stuff this cheap on sale at Target, Old Navy, things like that. So that's what I'd probably recommend over shopping at Shein. The swimsuit was good quality though. So I know a lot of people shop there for their swimsuits. So if you're wanting to shop there for a swimsuit, it wasn't bad quality. Just make sure you're aware. So on their website, they don't have any of the swimsuits on actual models. 
um, from what I saw. They were all just kind of like flat lays of the swimsuit. So it was a little bit hard to see how they were cut. Um, so just analyze that and know how you like a swimsuit to fit um, if you're going to buy a swimsuit. Overall though, like it's like a, a three quarters thumbs up. Um, it's just not awesome. Like go shop somewhere else, honestly. Like I will link everything I got if for some reason you wanna buy it <laughs> down below. Um, the shipping wasn't horrible. I mean, I all got here in about two weeks, which I expected it to be like a month. So it's not bad. Um, they do send you a email when your items ship. It took longer for the items to like process for them, for them to ship. So um, in the shipping email, it says like track your package here, but it doesn't take you to anything. Like you can't actually track it. So I had no idea when these were gonna arrive, which was fine because I didn't order any of this stuff or anything specific um, besides just to try it out. So overall, I would say pass, honestly. Not with your money, not with your time or effort. Um, their website literally has like a gazillion things on it. So it took a long time for me to find this stuff on there. Um, so it, like, it, it's not easy to shop. It's not, you have to like look up the sizing for every single item. I just wouldn't recommend, honestly. So maybe for some suits, go for it. Try it out if you like tiny swimsuits, but anything else, probably a no. So that's my thoughts. If you agree, disagree, if you tried out Shein, comment down below. Subscribe for more videos. You know, follow me on Insta, say hey. But thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.